To be the best, you've got to train hard to get to the top. Eat, sleep, train, rest. That's all. There's a lot of things that I have given up, but don't regret anything. Any race I do, I try and go and think about winning, not coming second or third or fourth. Anybody can do the training, but when it comes to racing, you've got to mentally have that. You've got to go out there and give it 110%. Is that day you've been waiting for so long? You are nervous, you're thinking about the race, and you've got to put in the right fuel. This is my moment, this is it. It's about testing other athletes. It's about playing around with it, it's about laughing. It's just about seeing who's there. You push a bit and see who comes with you, and then you see who's feeling strong. A lot of moments where you're feeling tired and you're like, digging in and you're in such a pain. The guy's still ahead of you. You come back somehow. You can't get carried away and think about the crowd. But yes, you do hear the crowd and you hear it getting louder and louder and louder. And you just close your eyes at that moment and just focus ahead. My name is Scout Bassett. I'm from San Diego, California, and I am a Paralympic hopeful in long jumping and track and field. I grew up in an orphanage in China, enduring some really difficult hardships, and it's really the will to survive that kept me going. I've learned to be a fighter my whole life. I started running when I was 14 years old. When I got that prosthetic and I ran for the first time, it transformed me. It has made me whole and complete. I'm so determined and inspired to show younger kids who have disabilities that there's nothing that they cannot overcome in their life. <laughs> 